An animated grey shark fin swims across flat, dark blue water beneath a light blue sky. On-screen text reads, Megalodon was a very big fish. But can we tell how big from just its teeth? The large shark bursts out of the water. A woman in a pink blazer speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Emma Bernard, museum scientist. Knowing how big Megalodon grew is tricky. Although we have thousands of their teeth, their body fossils are rare. A close-up image of a shiny tooth fossil with various shades of brown and the sharp end facing upwards. But we can estimate the size of this fish by taking measurements of those remains we do have and comparing them to what we know about living sharks. So a simple way to calculate the length is to measure the tooth row length from the front to the side of the jaw. An animated image of a megalodon's mouth filled with numerous sharp grey teeth. A thick red line appears and brushes clockwise from the middle of the bottom jaw to halfway up the side of the mouth. Eight even segments numbered from one to eight appear and form a horizontal red dotted line in the middle of the screen. And if we multiply that by eight, that gives us the precordal length of our shark, which should be from the tip of the shark's nose to where the tail starts. An animation shows a megalodon minus its tail fin, matching the length of the red dotted line. The line is now enabled precordal length. Now we think megalodon might have had a tail similar to that of a great white. The tail fin is added to the animation. A second, shorter red dotted line over the tail fin is labelled plus 25%. So we then add 25% for the tail. We think roughly between 15 and 18 metres is the likely size for megalodon. That's roughly double the size for bus, or three times the size of a great white. A camera pans upward over the brown tooth fossil. The fossil's edges are serrated and long. Thin cracks stream vertically down its structure. On the left-hand side, a narrow, semi-opaque black rectangle displays the credits. Film, Ben Weber, Adrian Sherman, Science, Emma Bernard, Research, Alison Sheen, Music, Audio Network. On the right-hand side, the Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed in a column flanked by a larger letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.